Welcome back. You watch your morning live. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, according to TVSA blog, the show pulled out an ace for SBC3 with a whopping increase in viewership since its premiere and rose to the second most watched South African TV show behind Isidingo. That's TV show titled Magic with Mo and is the first of its kind for South Africa. The magician, who has an honors degree in electronic engineering, now brings his show to Durban audiences at the Elizabeth Snedden Theatre from the 11th to the 14th of February. He joins us now from our Durban studios to tell us more about Magic with Mo. Mo, good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. It's an absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me. Uh, honors degree graduate in electronic engineering and in 2010 you resigned from a lucrative contract to pursue magic. What was happening? Well, uh, I began magic as a hobby at university and it, and it started at a time when I was questioning my path and purpose in life. And I uh, developed this, this passion for magic. It just grew to a part-time career whilst I worked as an engineer. And after six and a half years of working as an engineer and project manager at the time, I made the bold decision to follow my bliss and to uh, give this my full time and attention. And it's been an amazing journey. It must have been crazy when you went to people around you and say, I'm going to all these years of, of studying, There's the amount of money I'm making, I'm putting that to the side and I'm going to go be a magician. Well, what was the reaction like from family, friends, people around you? Well, I have a, a very close and supportive network who were understanding and uh, who trusted me to make my own decision. So that was good. Well, you made the right decision because the show on SABC3 is raking in the numbers. But then we've seen very success. Uh, these kind of shows have been very successful on other platforms across the world. What is it about Magic with Mo that South African audience are gravitating towards? Well, firstly, it's a South African magician performing for South Africans and the guests on the show are celebrities, personalities from all walks of life and also people from the public. And uh, the locations are very, were strategically chosen. They were uh, good in terms of tourism and in showcasing the country. So it is a purely South African show of an international caliber. When you're putting a show like that together and it's really the first time, I remember other little forms of magic shows that were on TV in the past, but when you're doing something at this scale, uh, this is kind of pioneering because we haven't really had a South African musician kind of do what the David Blaines and everybody else have been doing with, mm -hmm. with this kind of TV shows for years. It is pioneering, isn't it? Oh yes, it is. Sorry, I just lost you there for a second. Uh, it is pioneering, but it's also been a labor of love. And um, I travel abroad. I get to meet um, the best in the business in terms of magic. And I learn from them and I look at uh, my personality and I bring that material and I try and make it local and incorporate my personality into it. And that's why Magic with Mo was, was so unique. Is magic uh, the same whether it's for TV or for a live audience or is there a different set of skills that you have to incorporate when you're working with a TV crew and, you're th and it has to go out to millions of people as opposed to a live audience that's there that subscribed to it for the next hour and a half? Yes, that's a beautiful question. Thanks for asking that. Um, it is very different because for me personally, magic is best experienced live. When you're there watching it is when you really experience it because magic is an internal experience. It's I as the magician am performing for you, but you really feel what's happening. So there is a difference and would uh, performing for TV, the person at home is basically watching the experience and imagining and experiencing as it, as, um, it as if they were there. And in terms of shooting for TV, it's important that the cameras capture the magic uh, properly. A lot of time went into and planning went into that because, for example, if the camera had to move off of me at uh, any moment, uh, somebody watching at home might think, oh, there was a camera trick done there or something yeah. like that. And we want to make it seem uh, we want to make it look as authentic as you would be there. So every little piece of magic we did on the show is exactly as if you were there. Will you be bringing some of the elements that you've done on the actual TV show into the live performances? Or would you, do you like to keep the magic, magic with Mo on TV and Magic Mo live experience in inside a theater separate? Well, you know... The, the show is, has, such a, has had such a wonderful response and there's been so many talking points about the show. 2015 for me was about sharing the experience of magic with South Africans 
on television 2016 is now about bringing that to them in their towns and cities and i will be performing some of the most talked about illusions and routines from the tv show live for people to enjoy and i also have another few routines and tricks saved especially for the show so it's an hour and a half of magic mentalism which is popularly known as the mind reading type of magic and yeah. clean comedy it's so interesting that you have found this market for yourself and you know as somebody who's, who works in this industry a couple of years ago you would have thought it implausible to have a TV show that focuses on magic even though it has been done around the world what does it say about mm. the maturity of South African audiences that we are finally and I mean look you're not the first person there's Larry Soffer uh, there are uh, I remember Stuart Taylor a couple of years ago before he was a comedian he was actually a magician but what is it about the audiences right now that gravitate towards your show and your live performances and, and it says something about our audiences doesn't it? It, oh, it definitely does. I mean, we live in, a, in, a, um, in such a global village at the moment. It's information accessible at our fingertips, whether through our digital devices um, or television, where we're seeing what's happening in the world. And magic has become really popular again in all forms of media. And of course, the South African public have just taken to this. And um, the, the show Magic with Mo has been a dream of mine for over 10 years and I'm absolutely thrilled that we've had a chance to bring this to uh, fruition and with the response and now I'm excited to be taking this to people in their towns and in their cities. Well, we keep on watching the program. Thank you very much for joining us from our Durban studios and all success to you. That is South African magician uh, Mo speaking to us about not only the television program that's on SABC3, but also the live uh, performance that's happening from the 11th to the 14th of February at the Elizabeth Snellen Theatre in uh, Durban. You need to go and check it out if you're still a fan of magic. I am. A little bit later, I'm going to try and make full disappear, uh, but we'll talk about that. Uh, let's take an ad break. Don't go anywhere.